All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to model a building from Oscar Neymar, a Brazilian architect. Uh, this building is located in Milano in Italy, and it's a headquarters of uh, Mondadori, and it's the headquarters of uh, Mondadori Group. I wanted to show you specifically how you can create these kind of arches uh, that have this kind of uh, indentation in them. So uh, we're going to start now. And first thing we're going to do is uh, import uh, this image into Rhino. And let's scale it up a, bit, a little bit like so. And let's bring it to zero. As always, I'm going to uh, lower the transparency. Sorry, increase the transparency and lock it. All right, so first we're going to start with uh, drawing some reference geometry. We're gonna draw lines here on top and on the bottom to have uh, the overall uh, size. And then I'm just gonna simply uh, draw one rectangle, for example, let's say here. And I'm going to I'm going to offset this for 0 0.2. This would be the base. I'm gonna extend this. And uh, let's create a circle now here in the middle. And seems like it fits nicely here. And now the last thing would be actually this circle is not precise, so let's do another one like this and let's bring it down and now let's use curve boolean to select this and that's all we need so this is the module that we have uh, and now let's uh, let's multiply this a couple of times so so the trick here would be not not to uh, just copy it and then scale one D because this would distort the image. So uh, distort the geometry. So we actually want to keep this radius. So in order to do this, let's first, let's hide this and let's explode these guys. So this is actually the thing that we want to scale 1D. But first let's bring, uh, let's bring this, this element here. So it would go around there. And now we can scale one day this guy. And that would be that would be it. So now we can join it back. And we repeat the process. We repeat the process on all of these. So let's explode it. Control points. Control points on these guys. And let's move it. Move it here, and we're gonna scale one D again, and let's join this. Okay, so I'm gonna do this process for all of them, and then we will continue.
Okay, so once we have all of these ready, uh, we can actually go to the perspective and let's let's bring these guys up. I'm gonna use them here and lock them here. So what we want to do here actually is to uh, do a couple of things. First, uh, in order for this to work, we need to split. Uh, we need to split this arc. So first, I exploded the, the the whole thing. Then I'm going to use split, and then I'm going to use uh, point, and I'm gonna say here quad, and enter, and this splits the curve into two segments. This allows me to have a snap here where it says middle point. So that's the whole thing. Uh, another thing we want to do is we want to move this inward, like in the model. And now the last thing would be to actually create those sections. So I'm going to uh, connect these two lines here. And I'm going to connect this point with this middle uh, area that you just snapped like this. Okay, so now we have this kind of structure. And we can now join, join all of these and join the other ones as well. So this is how it will work. If you use sweep two, you're going to select first rail and then select second rail and now cross section. So we want to select all four of these. That's the key. When you select all four of these, when you press OK, you get uh, you get exactly the same result as as here. You see that that uh, curvature here. So uh, that's that's the only way that we can get it. Now I'm going I'm going to do this on all of them. For example, let's do on this one as well. So I'm going to explode them. I'm going to split them. Uh, say by point and click here, enter. Now I'm going to move these guys. I'm going to use set point and I'm going to move them here. So they are in the same area and let's connect. like so and the last thing is to join 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 <clears throat> and let's do sweep two and here it is the same thing so so that's uh that's the process so now i'm gonna do this on all of them and then we're going to continue modeling the building.
Okay, so once we have the geometry ready here, I'm going to actually mirror it on the other side. I'm gonna group it first and then mirror it. And let's create the top. This will be the top. I'll use orient command and approximately get the same result on the sides. Delete these guys and delete these guys. And now I'm just gonna scale one D here. Okay, so should probably start from here, somewhere around there. And there should be also probably Okay, and I'm just gonna use scale1d here to get it approximately the same size as this curve here. So in, in order for, for all of this to fit here on the side, we're gonna have to scale it down a bit So I'm just gonna use scale1d, bring it till here, and I think that should do the trick, and let's bring it back here as well. Something like this, and we can extrude these guys till there. All right, so now I can just mirror this. Let's see where the middle is, so around here. Let's mirror it. And we have the shell. And now it's just a matter of drawing this part. Let's see how big it will be. Scale one D. Something like this. And let's just resize it here a bit on this side. And that should be it. So I'm just gonna now quickly uh, make some lines for the windows and then I'm gonna render this and show you the final result. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.